A farmer has some rabbits and turkeys. Altogether, they have 62 heads and 182 feet. How many rabbits and turkeys are there? This question can be written as this. Why? Because if we have the turkey's head to be one and the rabbit head to be one, because rabbits can only have one head, turkeys can only have one head. So if you have these heads together to all together give you 62, for the turkey we know it would have two feet and for the rabbit it would have four feet. So all together, we are having 182 feet for both. So now, how do we solve the problem to know how many turkeys and how many rabbits we have? These form of equations are called simultaneous equations. And so, first thing you want to do is do what we call the elimination method. But how do we do that? You want to make sure the x coefficient is the same as the x coefficient here or you could make the y coefficient here to be the same as you have it here. In this case, we've made this x here to be the same coefficient as this 2x here. So 2 times x is 2x, 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times 62 is 124. Now, the reason why you have to multiply this equation all true by 2 is just because you want the variable x to have the same coefficient in this case. But like I said, you could decide to have this y as a 4y, and in that case, it will mean you're multiplying this by 4 and this by 4 as well. But in this case today, we are multiplying the x here by 2. So now this top equation now becomes 2x plus 2y equals 124. Now we can eliminate the x, okay? Now when you have the coefficient of the variable x to be the, uh, to be the same, you want to also check this, the uh, sign or the operator we have in front of the twos. If they're the same sign, you use the subtract to eliminate them. If they are different signs, assuming this was a positive two and that was a negative two, you would add both to eliminate the variable x. So here you have a positive two and a positive two, which is same signs. And so you subtract to eliminate that. What's two x take away two x? That will be zero. So we can knock that off straight away. Now, because you have done takeaway or subtraction there, you want to do the same for the other bits. So if you go from the uh, bottom bit to the top bit, you have 4y take away 2y, which is 2y. And if you do 182 take away 124, you have 58. Now, some people might ask, why are you going from bottom to the top? You could go from top to bottom and you end up having the same solution. So if you do 2y take away 4y, you have negative 2y. And if you do 124 take away 182 you have negative 58 which will still give you the same solution so it doesn't matter but what really matters is if you're doing 4y take away 2y you must go the same direction so if we go gone from the bottom to the top we must go from the bottom to the top on this part as well so our y is 29 in this case because you can see if you want to find what y is you can do 58 divided by 2 to get your y, which is 29. Now, this y, remember, stands for our rabbit. So, the number of rabbits we have is 29. Now, we need to find the number of turkey. Now, the first equation, we said x plus y, which is the heads, is 62 heads. Now, we know what our y is, which is 29. So, x plus 29 remember the y is for the rabbit, equals 62 heads. What could x be? x would be 62 take away 29, which in this case will give you 3 there and 3 here. So we have 33 uh, turkeys. So we have 33 turkeys and we have 29 rabbits. 
and um, if you check that let's see so if we have 33 turkey heads and 29 rabbit heads if you add that together you would get 62 altogether which was what the equation was 62 heads now let's check the feet so if we have 33 turkeys we know the turkeys have two feet so two lots of 33 is 66 feet for the turkeys if we have 29 rabbits four lots of 29 for the feet of the rabbits will give you um let's do that here 29 times 4 you have 36 and 3 and you have 116 feet uh, let's write that properly for the feet. You have 116 feet for your rabbits. And of course, you have 66 feet for your turkeys. If you add both of them, you would have 182 feet altogether. And that's exactly what the question was. Let's look at the question again. A farmer has some rabbits and turkeys. Altogether, they have 62 heads and 182 feet. How many rabbits and turkeys are there? Now we know we have a total number of 33 turkeys and 29 rabbits. And we have checked that it's correct using the simultaneous equations to solve them. Pop a question in the comment section below if you want us to go through this one more time with you. Or... If you have any other question that you might want us to discuss um, and I will play and I will do a video on it. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel and don't forget to follow us on our social media pages. All handles are called Maths Teacher Byte. So please press that red button to subscribe, uh, like and share our videos that you find useful to enable us to bring more videos your way. Thank you and have a lovely day practicing maths. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Mary Rotemi. I am a maths teacher with over a decade of experience teaching maths in the UK. My mission is to make students to have a confidence boost in maths in order to pass their GCSE maths exams. Now, most people do have the misconception that maths is irrelevant. But the truth is, if you're in the UK, for example, and you don't have a pass grade in maths, you will need to keep studying maths until age 18. Do you want to do that? Do you want to keep studying maths until age 18? Of course, no. So now is the time to sign up for an online tutoring session with me that will help you to have that confidence boost that you need to pass your exams. Of course, I've got free resources for you as well. If you need to help yourself on your self-paced learning, go to the teacher, uh, Mass Teacher Bytes channel on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram as well. And the handle is Mass Teacher Bytes. We are on Twitter. We are on TikTok. All handles are maths teacher bites join me for that tutoring session so that you can pass your gcse maths with ease now if you're receiving your exams in november now is the time to start getting ready for that confidence boost that will give you that your pass grade that you so so need there are a lot of career opportunities open for you if you make your maths exams if you pass your maths exams Looking forward to you joining me in those maths. If you're asked how many millimeters make one meter, you go from your millimeter here to one meter. So how many zeros do you have to go from? One, two, three. So a thousand millimeters would make one meter. The second question says how many centimeters make one kilometer? So how many zeros do I have to go from centimeters to get to one kilometer? It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, five zeros. So that's 100,000 centimeters will give me one kilometer. So that's how to work it out. Let's do this. The polygon is a tuna ship, a closed ship with straight sides. The polygon is a tuna ship, a closed ship with straight sides. Make one centimeter. 
100 centimeters make one meter. A thousand meters make one kilometer. Now this could be milligrams and centigram or milliliters and centiliters. It all depends on the units of measurement you are dealing with. But the same story is what you use for the whole thing. 10 milligrams make one centigram. 100 centigram make one gram. A thousand grams make one kilogram. You can do the same for the liters as well. So it's the same thing. If you're at Thank you. Click the link below for that session. Bye-bye.